Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how exactly we can call some APIs in React.js, some sending some data to the server and get it back from the server. In this tutorial, I'm going to use actually a local a project for my server. It's hosted under a local host 2001 authors. You can see this is the list of uh, my data that I want to fetch it. And this is my project. I have a button. If I press it, I have to write a logic to send the data and then I can see the list of added items here in list. For my project structure, it is completely simple. I just have a component here named app and inside the return section, I actually just rendering some data. It's coming from the author list and I adding some HTML elements to show the list of authors and I have a list. I'm storing it inside the state and here is my Mac data. It's a just simple array of authors which are gonna remove it later and fetch it from the backend side instead. So the first question that we need to answer is that what is the best place that we can put our data? Actually here, my case is when the page renders for the first time, then I want to write my code to get data from the server side. The best place for it is, is the use effect uh, hook. Actually, if you are using uh, class components, you should use component did mount instead. So the signature should be exactly the same. We shouldn't add anything here to this uh, array because if I add it, this uh, function renders again whenever uh, this variable changes. So I don't write anything inside it for now. I just need to uh, create a function. It should be asynchronous because the operation that we are doing takes some time. So it needs to be asynchronous. So I'm first going to create my function, fetch data, async, and then just a simple arrow function. Here, I'm going to call the fetch API which is supported by most of modern browsers. It is very good and perfect for any kind of queries that you want to have. The first parameter is the address that you want to get data from. I'm gonna use this one, paste it here, and I have to store it inside my variable. Result, await, fetch. Then when I get it, I have to convert it to JSON because the structure that the, my data is in my server, it is JSON, but it's formatted in a string way. So I need to convert it back to JSON. So comes JSON result and result.json. So then I have to set my authors I'm gonna remove the previous one, so the data should be empty from scratch. And then I get the list of data from the server and put it inside it, so it will be rendered here inside my map function. So the only thing is to fire this function, fetch data. So when the app runs, React first render everything, the page is ready, then the use effect function will be called, then this fetch data function will be called and it will run the fetch function. It will go and get the data and convert it to JSON and set my state. So my app renders again and my list will be rendered and showed to the user. Let's see if it's working or not. Here we have a problem. Oh, actually I forgot to put the await Syntax here as well because it's operation that takes time. So let's see again. Yeah, as you can see, it is working fine. And I have list of my authors rendered completely here. So let's go for the second step, which is actually when we press the submit button, we want to add a new author to the list and also stored in the server. So I have a button here. As I said, it is the callback function for it. And I'm gonna write my logic here. So the first thing is defining my data that I want to send. My data, we can use, for example, this one from here. And I don't need to send the ID, I just need the avatar, avatar full, and the name we can have user4. 
and let's uh, write our logic to send this data to the server. Const result again the fetch function the same location for API and the second parameter this time we need it to specify the data that we want to send and some additional headers which is required. The first important one is the method which should be post because we are posting data actually. The second one should be uh, headers and it's going to be a, an object and within it we will have content type should be equal to application json and the last one is body i have to convert my data from json to string and then send it so i can use the json function stringify and pass the my data to it and then I have to again convert my result to JSON. So await result.json. Then I can console to see if it's working or not. So I'm going to open my network tab here to see all the requests that are sending. I press this one. You can see a new request is here. No content. Oh, it's the option one. This one is important. Uh, payload. This is the data that we sent. And uh, the status code is 201, which means that the request is done completely without any problem on the server side. And inside the response, you can see this object. And if I open it, this is ready. So I can append it to the end of my list because here it's not added. If I refresh the page, it goes and get the fresh data. We can see it now, but we want to, when we press it, later we see it here without refreshing the page. It is so easy. I just need to set my state here I get the previous value, I create a new array, I first put the press value and then put the result in JSON. So let's see if it's working or not. Let's make a quick change here to my data to identify it easily. Press this one. User 5 is completely added to end of my list so you saw that in this example how we can send data to the server calling apis and get it back from the backend side i hope that uh, this was useful to you if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like and write me comments uh, i'm gonna read everything and uh, provide better tutorials for you in future thank you very much have a great day